what's up everyone so it's october which means halloween is just right around the corner and i love halloween so if you've been watching my channel long enough you know around october i usually review some horror movies or do some horror lists so today i'm gonna review uncanny annie so uncanny annie is a movie on hulu part of their into the dark anthology movie series so into the dark is like i said it's a series of movies that they release each month they've been doing it for over a year uh i reviewed the body last year which was their first into the dark movie um and every month it revolves around a holiday so october is halloween so uncanny annie uncanny annie is to put it simply a horror movie uh, if Jumanji was a horror movie, essentially. So a group of college kids come together on the anniversary of one of their friend's death, uh, deaths to honor him. And um, he was being into board games. So they decide to play a board game to honor him. And one of the friends goes down to the basement and she finds this game called Uncanny Annie. Um, they don't really explain how it got there or if the friend had it or whatever. It just kind of appears. I don't know if she, the the main ghost or whatever has the ability to just make these games appear. But anyway, they get this game called Uncanny Annie, which is an evil possessed board game. Something kind of like similar to Jumanji, like I said, uh, where things start coming true as they play the game. So these friends start playing the game and slowly but surely they start summoning spirits and monsters and all kinds of things. And they essentially get hunted down or killed. And they believe if they beat the game, that you know like jumanji because they even pointed out in the movie it's like if we beat the game maybe it's like jumanji where everything will go back to normal so that's pretty much the premise of the movie these kids are playing this evil mystical game and they're trying to beat it so you know hopefully by the end of it everything goes back to normal i want to say that i really enjoyed this movie when i started watching it it's a very good interesting premise um like i said i, I enjoyed jumanji and zathura was the other kind of board game movie um, so this is, it's a good idea, not the most inventive or creative, but it's still a good idea. And in the beginning of the movie and throughout the movie, I think they do a good job of turning into, turning this into a good horror movie slash board game type-ish movie. Um, there's, a, I, I don't want to say I was scared, but there was definitely a good few intense moments. Uh, there was a little bit of decent comedy and there was a, a lot of, uh, involvement with the characters and their backstories. Because this ghost, Uncanny Annie, I think that's her name, or, or just her name is Annie. Um, she uh, likes to mess with these kids, so sometimes on a turn she'll make them um, divulge secrets to kind of hurt the group internally. Or she'll send some kind of spirit or something just to mess with them. So it's very entertaining to see them kind of, you know, try to get through this game. Um, a lot of fun. So I want to talk a little bit about spoilers. Um, this movie is on Hulu if you haven't watched it. Um, I will say I was disappointed by the ending, um, the ending, and there's a, a few things that bug me, but they overall, the ending just kind of more or less, it didn't kill the movie for me, but it really hurt it. Um, so I have to give it a, a six out of 10, just six out of 10. It's still a good, fun movie. Um, I think until the ending, the ending is what really got me. It's very cliche. Um, it's not something that I guess I wanted to happen and I just kind of hated it. Uh, but overall, the rest of the movie is really good. The cast is fantastic. It's decently written. There are some flaws and bubbles in there, but overall, good, fun, enjoyable movies. So, like I said, I want to speak some or talk some spoilers. Um, so, by the end of the movie, uh, just about everyone's dead except two of the friends, and we find out uh, a dark secret of why um, their best or their friend died uh, a year ago. Um, Two of their friends, uh, one of the guy and girl, they were hooking up and cheating on their boyfriend and girlfriend. And he kind of, he was driving home with them drunk and he was like, nah, I'm not going to put up with this. You guys need to tell him. And one of the friends bashed his head on the hood of the car and left him out in the rain to walk home essentially. But the, the bump on the head was so hard that he passed out in a puddle and he ended up drowning. Um, so it's this deep, dark secret that um, they they kind of poke at or... You know, say that it's kind of happening throughout the movie, and then like they kind of bring it up and everything. And especially Annie knows the secret. Um, eventually, they get the chance to beat the game because uh, the two friends who were there and you 
first they ask the girl gets asked a series of questions and she answers them and it kind of sets it up you're like you it's this really dark deep secret and then the guy and in the next turn uh he gets asked a bunch of questions and all he has to do is to answer these questions and they win the game and it's over but he refuses to answer them because you know he essentially murdered his friend and it makes a, a, the game keep going on and and this gets a lot of the other friends killed but at the end there's two uh, of the female characters are left and one of the uh, friends has to kill the other one in order to win the game but she refuses to do that um so they, they end up losing but uh the friend um, the last surviving friend, she grabs a knife and she starts stabbing this big black box because they get trapped in this black vortex. She starts stabbing it and it kind of looks like Annie dies. And she wakes up in like the real world and she opens up the door and there's, you know, she can see the outside and everything. But uh, the movie pretty much ends with her dying. Like Annie appears behind her and says, you cheated, so I get to cheat too. She kills her and that's where the movie ends and I, like I said I was disappointed in that ending because it's very cliche that's a lot of horror movies where like the horror ghost or whatever comes back at the end and it's like oh I'm still here but I kind of wish that she would have survived to set up a sequel or something so she can go back and maybe try to win the friends or save the friends in the board game uh make it interesting but she just ended up dying and it was kind of disappointing it would have been a good ending like like if she did win and everyone was brought back and then they had to live with all that horrible stuff that went through or all those horrible choices they made to survive or whatever i think that would have been interesting so i was really disappointed by the ending it's not a bad horrible ending but for me i just i just i was disappointing in it uh so that's pretty much it that's the movie um like i said it was enjoyable i enjoyed it up until the end i gave the movie is 6 out of 10, but you might enjoy it more, so definitely check it out, you know. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and if you're watching this on Halloween, happy Halloween. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.